Massive mining trucks move earth and ore. They're autonomous, driven by computerized robots. They're able to handle the very limited traffic seen in the mine. But experts say the chaos of the open road is a bigger challenge. Computers already help human drivers with braking and navigation, and some experts say it is inevitable that robot truck drivers will take over the whole job because they're likely to be cheaper than humans. But the head of engineering for the American Trucking Associations says it will take time to work out regulations, testing, and public acceptance. With the technology that's there, we can, do, we can, we can take the driver out of the vehicle. We aren't going to do that for a long time. But Audi and others are testing robot drivers in ever more complex environments, including Audi's race up a large American mountain and handling big city traffic. A former official of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Chan Lu, says this may bring fully autonomous vehicles sooner. We're not that far from, uh, from that ultimate vision of a completely self-driving car. Auto and computer companies, including Ford, are working on many robotic systems for cars and trucks. Lu says autonomous vehicles literally put people's lives in the hands of robots. But he says that might be a good thing because 94% of accidents are caused by people who are tired, drunk, texting, or making other mistakes. Notre Dame professor Tim Carone says on Skype, it is possible robot drivers could save tens of thousands of human lives. There's a journey to get there, but the journey ends with, you know, an order of magnitude decrease in the number of accidents, the number of fatalities, and the number of injuries. Some human truck drivers doubt computers will take over soon. Rogelio Rada is a 16-year veteran of the road. Robots can only do so much. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's issues, I believe, that, that only a person can handle. Barry Waters has been driving for 25 years and says a lot of infrastructure work will have to be done before robots take his job. Probably, yeah. 20, 30 years down the road. Trucking is a major job sector in the U.S. economy, employing as much as 1% of the U.S. population. So drivers, consumers, and companies will all be watching these developments closely. Jim Randall, VOA News, Washington.